cooking up a good one this Sunday afternoon. A top 25 ranked matchup. Week two in SEC play, number three, Florida taking on number 13, Ole Miss Swayze Field, our backdrop this afternoon. Man on the mound starting for Ole Miss. They're trying to salvage this series at home. That's Xavier Rivas, the left-handed pitcher out of Indianapolis. He transferred over and Mike Bianco really excited about his potential, excited he's got a lefty in the mix, Greg, and excited to put him into this weekend rotation. Came back and was a DH last season for the Gators and is now a two-way star. He rips that pitch in the air, right field, gone. Jack Caglione hits the ball out, didn't take him long. His fourth home run of the weekend, his 17th on the season. And he's not even done yet. He hasn't even pitched uh, on the mound yet in this game. He's already hitting the ball out of the yard. When you see how big he is, when he steps into the box, that ball's hit on the ground right side. Josh Rivera, that'll be an out for the Rebs. But Jack Caglione puts the Gators on the board. They're up one nothing. And he swings at that pitch, hits it in the air, tags it good, coming over, making the run, and the diving catch, Ty Evans. And he rips that ball to the third base side, bobbled a little bit, and no play for Colby Halter at third. That was a bullet off Chatnier's bat, and the bases are loaded. And I like to, I want to see how he responds here. And he swings through strike three. Rivas pumped up about that one. I mean, he will throw a slider at any time in the at bat. So the hitters go up there knowing that. Luke Heyman. That ball, left field, gone. Heyman, solo shot in the fourth, gives the Gators a 2-0 lead. The freshman muscles up. Curlin, the freshman, came to campus early. He hits that ball on the ground, right back up the middle. Robertson coming around, and Groff's going to lob it back in. So the Gators, they take a 3-0 lead. A two-out RBI for Cade Kurland. To make a play and get out of this jam. Jacob Gonzalez takes ball one. That one gets away from Heyman. The runners advance to second and third. So now two runners in scoring position. Gonzalez rips that ball into left field. It's going to get over Langford's glove. One run will score. Two runs will score. And the Rebels are on the board. Different ones. So the ones to the lefties, he's really focused on landing that down and away. Rypel on the ground. Calarco throws over to Rivas. Really good numbers. And he hits that ball. That one's going to get past the infield. One run will come home to score for the Gators. Yeah, it really is. I like that. Like the confidence Langford that. reaches. Leger gets the easy out, goes to second, but Kate Curlin, the freshman, coming up strong again. Florida leads by two. Mitch Morell's job right now is to throw up another zero, get his offense back up there. They're running out of outs. Heyman waits on the breaking ball, left field in the air. Home run, Luke Heyman. Two home runs this afternoon, the freshman, making sure everybody knows his name. He hits that ball in the air. Center field going back. Ethan Groff, it's gone. Home run. Kate Curlin, the freshman, he's doing it all today. A two-run home run. The Gators, they're up by five. Wow. Yeah, the junior getting the ball in play. Brings up the senior, Peyton Chatagnier, who hits that ball. But it's going to get over shortstop. Kobe Halter's throw. Larco takes a ball, runners coming home, and Ole Miss, they'll put one across. Pass ball by Luke Heyman from Neely. He puts that ball on the ground to Rivero, steps on second, fires to first two down, but one more run comes home to score. 0-2 pitch. 
up. They go up and get the strikeout. Neely gets Alderman and the Gators win this one seven to four. They sweep the Rebels this weekend, the first sweep since 1988, Greg. And up and down the lineup firing their bullpen coming and showing up strong too this weekend.